Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we are based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I would like to do today guys is show you a little logo idea, real cool logo design that you can use. All I'll be doing is using our shape, our pen tool, our 3D tools um, and like I say you'll be able to create some really cool looking fresh and modern design. What I would like you to do is take the steps that I show you today, implement them into your workflow, and I guarantee you'll be impressed with the end result. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is turn on our grid. I'm gonna to go to view, show grid. Also as well, guys, please make sure that you have snap to grid uh, ticked as well, like so. And now what I'm gonna do is come through with my pen tool here. I'm gonna use the color black at the moment and make sure you're using a sort of a thickish um, weight to your stroke. I'm using use 30, 35, 40 is, is, is good enough, but for me personally, 30 will be okay. And now we're in the right spot to start creating our design. I'm just gonna come through here and click there. And now because I've got my snap to grid option uh, ticked, it's just snapping as we go through like so. Nice and easy for me, like so. And you can see the benefit of using a grid because it's so easy to get everything correct. Okay, wonderful. So now I've got the basis of my um, logo idea. I'm just gonna move, I should move it in the middle there using my space bar for my hand tool. And now what I want to do is start to sort of curve the corners a little bit. So I'm going to use our direct selection tool. I'm going to select these two corners here and use the dots here to just round off the corners like so. And we'll be doing the same with these ones as well. And these ones here. There we go. And I'm just going to use the lasso tool to select these two anchor points. Go back to my direct selection, but then I can round these points off here as well. Like so it's probably around there we'll do. And let's just take these two final ones at the bottom and round that off there, like so. Okay, what I want to try and do is round off the end points of my uh, stroke here. It's very simple for you to do that. Just select it. And if you come to your stroke option here, you see caps. If you put a rounded cap, you can see that we've rounded off those caps there just to really finish it off the look and design. Now, what I would like to do is just change the color of this uh, logo idea. So probably let's go for a light blue color like so. Okay. And now I'm going to implement my 3D materials options. So I'm just going to select it. Mine is situated here but you can always find them in effect, 3D materials, and I'll be using inflate at this particular time. These, all these options here are manipulable to or changeable for you. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with the standard, uh, standard settings here. But what I am gonna do is come to my materials option, and I'm gonna bring the roughness down to about 0 0.2, and I'm gonna bring the metallic up to about 0 0.4. Okay, whenever you're using um, your 3D and materials tool. When you're finished with everything, what I'd always suggest you to do is to turn on your render and ray tracing because it just adds an extra sense of professionalism and look and feel to your design. So I'll just click that there to turn it on. Now you may notice guys, it may take a couple seconds, several seconds to do it, but that was quite quick there. But it, as you can see, it really adds an extra sense of professionalism to your end product. And now I'm gonna to go to view, hide grid, and there you can see my cool little logo idea there, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluescrygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much. Take care, and I'll see you next time.